Now we will uh, proceed with bids and we will start with um, the European Aerobatic Championships and we have two bids. We have one bid from Czech Republic. If we could ask Mr. Machula to step forward again. So hello again. I'm happy that finally I have a Czech hat. Uh, so this is a bit uh, to host the European Aerobatic Championship uh, in Moravská Třebová. Uh, Moravská Třebová is situated east of east of Prague, approximately here, north of north of Brno. Just uh, just compared, Dubnica is somewhere somewhere here. Uh, weather conditions or let's say average temperatures and and minimums maximums according to the Czech Meteorological Institute which were taken average values of uh, 10 years as you can see on the on the screen we have average wind speed in that time of a year in that month around 3.4 meters per second so I guess this will not be a big issue uh, we proposed uh, competition dates 23rd to 30 August 2014 and uh, training dates uh, according to what is on the on the screen. It's a little bit short but that's a typo. Then we have uh, something about the location. So the location itself uh, uh, serves as a home base to check aerobatic team both for the for the gliders and for the power. Uh, two months ago, uh, there was a new, brand new asphalt runway finished with uh, with those dimensions. So there is a picture of brand new runway with a with a taxiway. Uh, there are actually three hangars: one, two, three. Also, the the grass one, this one is now usable. This one will be usable during, it's, I'm talking about current conditions of the runway, this one will be usable during the summer next year, actually during the, during the competition. So there are, there are actually three runways, the, the, the new one, the, the old grass one, and third one which is situated like here, but we are waiting to, to get rid of those, uh, to get new, new grass on those parts. Uh, on the airport is situated maintenance facility, Aero engine uh, company, which is run by Stano Bicic, so I think that's the that's the uh, huge benefit of the airfield as well. Another picture of the airfield. So once more, uh, new runway, hangar number one, hangar number two, and hangar number three is is here, all ready for aircraft accommodation. There is a there is a. Uh, refueling station, but actually we are building brand new one here, which is not on the picture. It's almost almost finished, so there will be brand new one, brand new one here. All the all the operations, uh, all the operations will be happening actually, actually here. This is the building with uh, uh, plenty of accommodation space, offices, and and some other uh, some other facilities. Uh, alternative training airfields, we have three of them. First one, uh, Airport Skutec, which is 50 kilometers west of uh, Moravská Třebová, uh, with grass surface, no traffic at all, so, so uh, just the aero club traffic, so it's uh, for free use, almost free use. Second one, Chotěbos, uh, same situation with the traffic there. Uh, 75 kilometers west of uh, west of Moravská Třebová with uh, a grass runway, a brand new. Uh, uh, it's a completely renewed runway, and uh, w there will be happening uh, Czech nationals next year and so on. So it's also quite a good airfield for training aerobatics, which means that there will be box also uh, ready for training. Uh, then we have the third one. It's a uh, Polička. It's a old military airfield uh, with with very long grass runway, uh, 30 kilometers west of uh, Moravská Třebová, with all the facilities. Also, only Aero Club traffic, so also ready for training. 
this is the location of the of the alternative training airfields. So, so Moravska Trebova is here, and then we have those two. Polička is the closest one. Then we have the airport Skutec and the 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 third one, the Chotěbos, which which will have the marked boxes situated here. This is the box position uh, with uh, with the judging positions. All three judging positions are available. Uh, the box is actually marked. Uh, all the time because we are using it for the for the training of of a, of a national team of a Czech national team. This is a picture without the without the uh, asphalt runway, which is situated actually here. So it's a parallel. The box the back box axis is uh, parallel with the runway, and uh, I think there is nothing specific to add. Uh, accommodation will be provided in. Uh, 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 in town Moravská Třebová, which is approximately 10 minutes uh, by car from the from the airport, uh, there are there is a more actually accommodations available. But but just to make the to make the slide simple, uh, this is just a, just the two of them. Uh, there is another option uh, in uh, in Svitavy, which is approximately 25 minutes in in set of other other uh, hotels. Uh, specifically, this hotel. If you ever heard about the Schindler's uh, List, uh, that's the hotel. That's the place where where all it was happening during the Second World War. So that's not a that's that's not a just a coincidence. That's the that's fact. So uh, entry fees. We choose to go for option to exclude accommodation, meals, and fuel and oil from the entry fee. Uh, the entry fee for the competitor will be 1,000 euro, and for the others 300. The equivalent, if you calculate the entry fee with the uh, accommodation, meals, and fuel and oil, meals will be provided on the airfield, except the breakfast, which will be in the hotels or included in the in the hotels, uh, is 1,650. That's the that's the calculated calculated. Uh, Average for the for the double room uh, flying five programs and uh, using using meal or or buying meal at the airfield and and actually this sum is calculated from eight, eight, eight days per competitor so normally as you will as you will have included in the entry fee uh, we would like to we would like to actually test it, try it, and provide the, provide the opportunity for those who will not fly Program 5, who will, if there will be problem with the weather, which can happen, we, sorry, but we cannot influence that, uh, then you will pay only the fuel and oil you will consume, the same as with the meals, accommodation. You will pay the accommodation with, w w which you will select, and so on. Because the problem with the accommodation there is that there is not a single one huge hotel where we can, we can accommodate each and every one. And the accommodation options can be, you know, can have different quality, different price, different style, whatever, whatever you want to do. So, so that's why we, we take, those, take those out. Uh, once more, one more thing regarding the accommodation. Uh, we will provide full support with uh, uh, fixing the accommodation for the competitors. So it's not about like uh, do it yourself, we don't care. Uh, we will provide full support, but the payment on the reception desk is up to you. That's the, that's, that's the last comment to that. Uh, this is just uh, for your orientation uh, prices which we can guarantee uh, for fuel and oil and and smoke oil if there will be program program five flown uh, so once more entry fee uh, we are going to cover expenses of 20 officials because we are expecting approximately 31 to 32 or let's say 30 to 32 pilots and to be capable to do it with a with a uh, let's say zero budget uh, with some with some slight reserve uh, we are going to support seven judges which means uh, plus chief judge team plus international jury which means in total 20 officials uh, we will support officials' transport from the from the closest airfield, which is actually Prague or Brno, 
and uh, uh, this is what I already said regarding the regarding the competitors that we will help with uh, accommodation arrangement respectively we will fix the accommodation ar arrangement I am uh, appointed as a contest director uh, because this is the home base of the Czech national team we have a, also quite experienced and coordinated staff and we will try to provide you rich entertainment program which means that's the Stanov's commitment to have party every day. Thank you. And the website, which is also currently, uh, which will guide you to the uh, website of the Czech national team, which is in Czech language, uh, is uh, eurobatics.com. That's all. If you have any questions. It's a last week in August. 23 to 30. Yeah, and the training dates should be according to the, to the uh, section 6 part 1, but that's a typo. I apologize for that. What? Uh, I don't know. You can leave it here. Any uh, other questions? Where? A question on one of your last slides on the, the people you support. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, sorry, we adopted it now and didn't add it into the presentation, so for sure what is, what is uh, agreed in the Section 6, Part 1. No, I said, I said uh, that the transport between the hotel and the airport is uh, included in the entry fee, but uh, what I mean here is that we will support the transportation of officials between the closest international airfield, like the organization and arrangement and so on. Otherwise, it have to uh, SIVA should pay for that, and you will or or judges by themselves should pay for that. Ah, the Svitava is a little bit bigger village, but yes. Yes, uh, buses or mini buses or some kind of some kind of uh, let's say uh, group transport. Not not we will not provide to uh, each and every single team a rental car, but group transport. That's the answer. And if there is no meal included, how do you provide meal during the day? We will provide a meal uh, uh, in a way of uh, in a way of buffet on the airfield, which will be available whole day. So you will have opportunity any time to buy a ticket or, or to respectively to buy, the, to, to buy the meal straight or go to the local restaurant which is, which is available on the airfield. But the, but the meal will be specifically provided for the uh, pilots, for the competitors and especially for the officials in the time they have a, they have a lunch break and, and so on uh, or, or uh, break for dinner uh, on the airfield in the, in the facilities which I, which I showed on the picture. No, I don't think so. Any other question? Then thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, we will, uh, when all presentations are done, we will vote with uh, for different championships. And now I would like to. Uh, first of all, we have also another European uh, Unlimited, so if we could start with the, the Hungarian bid and then we'll take the glider. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear delegates, I, I don't like to speak too much in the front of you. Even that's why we prepared a short uh, video. I hope that all the infor uh, information were included uh, and of course uh, I have after the sheets and uh, in case of question or if you couldn't uh, see all the details uh, we can discuss about it so.
Oke, sini. Oke. We don't. Uh, we do not want to make a very long video, and even that's why maybe some information uh, were uh, very quick. I tell you some uh, details again. 
So the event uh, is the, the first week for September planned. And the location is uh, Matko Pusta. Uh, this is very close to Kecskemét. This is the only one uh, NATO base uh, located in Kecskemét. We have a very close connection uh, to the NATO base. And uh, uh, the airspace uh, will be restricted for all other uh, traffic, air traffic. <coughs> So some pictures of Matko Pusta. Uh, so uh, there is a 100, uh, 1,200 meter long uh, grass runway. What is very important that the runway bed, uh, the base of the runway is, is uh, sand. We've never have had any problem uh, after uh, heavy rainings. Uh, this is also the home base of the Hungarian uh, aerobatic team. All uh, offices, hangars uh, are available, uh, available at the site. Uh, you can see uh, a view of the, of the airfield. A uh, new hangar is in uh, building process. It will be ready until May next year. So the hangar uh, capacity will be enough for minimum 30 aircrafts. As you can see, all around the airfield there are agricultural fields, so no hills. Uh, it's a clear area and uh, we have the possibility to, to uh, have all the possible judging positions. Of course, in the north, we can, we can uh, do it, but, but uh, it uh, has no sense. Is that a cloud? <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see again the box directions uh, and some words about procedures. Uh, the prohibited uh, area means it's, it's not so very close, it's a little bit uh, uh, not, not the best uh, uh, picture. Uh, there is approximately here a small village and we ask the pilots to avoid this zone but it's, it's not a very big problem to avoid this area. And in case of runway one tree in use the procedures. Uh, emergency equipment, professional fire brigade, as well as medical rescue uh, team will be available during the, all the training and all the contest flights. And of course, at the airfield, at the Ketchkemit NATO base, there is also the medicopter. Officials, the flight director, the same person who was the fly, flight director during the uh, VAC in two, uh, 2012 in Iregyaza, basically the same stuff. And proposed uh, contest director, Mr. Pavel Kafka. The schedule, nothing interesting. Uh, there will be also possible minimum three days or more uh, for training uh, at at the contest sites, and we have also three uh, other locations, like uh, during the AVAC uh, 2012, one airfield uh, south from so from uh, Matko Busta, this is Seged, uh, one airfield, uh, the location of the AVAC uh, 2012 near Egyháza, and uh, at the western uh, part of Hungary, Győrpér. Uh, About accommodation, uh, we have uh, very nice refurbished wooden houses, six of them, directly at the airfield, uh, with climate and uh, heating equipment, uh, and also a swimming pool. Uh, just, uh, this is just at the airfield. 
And uh, in the main building, we have uh, more uh, seven rooms. And the closest hotel, approximately 10 kilometers uh, from, from Matko, is uh, Jakob Salaj. This is the Hotel Aero. Also, uh, uh, runway is there for emergency case, for example. Uh, and the other two hotels, the Hotel Granada and Hotel Bocart, uh, all the, the hotels uh, fitted by, by spa or, or uh, uh, swimming pool. Some pictures about catch uh, commit. We agreed with the, uh, with, with the uh, major that uh, for all contestants the aqua park will be free of charge. The climate in Hungary, the average uh, temperature this time uh, is uh, uh, 20, 22 uh, degrees and the average wind speed around uh, 4 or 5 meters per second. So uh, this is in the middle of Hungary and uh, uh, the, the weather is uh, quite stable. We can fly from, from the beginning of March uh, until the end of October. So the closest airport and the only one <laughs> in Hungary is Budapest. And the entry fee, which covers uh, the accommodations, uh, the meals, uh, the fuel for and, and uh, oil for competition flights, of course also for the technical flights, uh, and the smoke oil for the uh, Free stuff for mini freestyle program. Uh, the daily transfer between the hotels and uh, Matko Posta Airfield included. But as I told you, all the hotels are within 10 to 12 kilometers from the airfield. Uh, and it's including the, the, the increased <laughs> sanction fee uh, and the opening closing ceremony and all the the social programs which are provided by the organizer. Uh, for example, uh, one sightseeing tour in Budapest. So, that's all what I <coughs> can tell you now. Any question? And of course, uh, which was discussed uh, uh, before, uh, uh, we can keep the entry fee uh, uh, six weeks ahead to the championship, the same level. Any more questions? No. Seven judges was, uh, were calculated. You're voting for the 2014 European Aerobatic Championship. There are two candidates, Czech Republic or Hungary. To vote for Czech Republic, vote one. For Hungary, vote two. The voting is open, so please vote now. Right, I have 25 votes. I'll stop the voting. The result is 16 for Hungary, 9 for Czech Republic. It's therefore going to be in Hungary. Congratulations to Hungary.